Hello, hello, hello. It's Miss Nicole from the South Bay Bridge Libraries. And I'm here today to help you use all of your skills to make some ornaments for the holidays. It's holiday time. And usually we have trees or we decorate. So I thought it would be fun to use some of our kindergarten readiness skills to make some ornaments. So the first ornament we're gonna make is an easy popsicle stick tree. So the first thing you need is three popsicle sticks. Now I painted mine green. So whenever you do this, you're gonna put your popsicle sticks out and I just dunked my brush right in and I painted them. And I let them dry for about 15 minutes and I came back and I flipped them over and I painted them again. Again, you wanna wait about 10, 15 minutes before you decide to glue them together. So we wanna make just a simple triangle. And a triangle has three sides, which looks a lot like a holiday tree. So I just put a little dot of glue in each corner of the stick, sticks, and I made my triangle. I didn't have to use a whole blob of glue. Remember, in kindergarten, we only need to use a little dot, a little dab will do you. And now that we have our tree, we can't pick it up yet because it's drying. So now we need to decorate it. I chose to use some colorful pom-poms to look like the lights on a tree. So you just, again, need a little dab. I put about three on each side and I'm decorating it. And I put maybe one bright one at the top to be the star. Now, at the very bottom, you can also put someone. And you need your tree trunk. Or it's just going to look like a triangle. So what you want to use is your scissors. Practice your skills. You put your thumb in the small part and your two other fingers in. Thumbs up and you want to cut your paper, and then you want to just cut a square. I just put a line of glue, and then I stuck it underneath the bottom, the straight one, and pressed it down. So we have to let that dry for a little bit, maybe a half an hour, and then we have to hang it somehow. I used a nice sparkly pipe cleaner. So I just put it around the top, and I gave it a little twist so it would hang on there. Now, at the top, I also twisted it a little bit. And then I kind of just folded over the ends to look like a bow. And that's how I got my hanger for my tree ornament. So pretty simple, but it takes a little time because you have to let it dry. My next ornament is a little bit harder, but it's really cute. This is a pine cone reindeer head. Isn't that cute? We always like to look for lots of pine cones. So I went out and I found some pine cones. And the first thing you need to do is you need to get a piece of string or yarn. I did black so it would kind of blend in. You want to put it kind of around the middle of your pine cone. And it'll go in all the grooves. And then I just tied it. That's a nice skill for you to practice. So it's nice and secure. Now I have to make my loop at the top so that it can hang on to a tree branch. And I'm going to cut off the excess. All right, so we've got that part done. The next part is making his face. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put his nose on. I picked red so it could be like Rudolph. So you just use a blob of glue. This is a good time to use a blob and you stick that nose on. Again, it's gotta stay for a little bit because the liquidy glue doesn't dry immediately. Now I need my eyes. I got extra large eyes so that we are able to kind of put them in the crevices of the pine cone and get them in there. So I'm just gonna put a blob of glue over there and I'm gonna get my eye in there. And a blob of glue on the other part and stick my eye in there. Now, he's not quite done yet. We're missing some things. I made his ears look like holly leaves. 
So you could have your mom or dad or grandma make a holly leaf on some paper. That's when you get your scissors out. Remember, thumbs up again. And you could cut on their lines or close to their lines. And I folded my paper in half so that when I cut, I can get two leaves. It's good to have different thicknesses of paper to help you cut. So now that I have my two holly leaves behind the eyes and the next set of grooves, I'm gonna put some more glue and I'm gonna slide those holly leaves in to be the reindeer's ear. Now he's almost done. He needs his antlers. And again, I took a pipe cleaner and I got a nice shiny one so that the lights will reflect on him on my tree. And I fold it in half like that. And then I kind of went all twisty zigzaggy for his nice big antlers. Now, to get them in right behind the eyes, kind of behind my um, black yarn, all I did was stick it in there. And now, there he is. He just has to dry for a little bit. You could even make a bunch of these and give them out as gifts at Christmas time. Um, so I hope you enjoyed making these and you used your skills and you have a happy holiday season. Bye-bye.